Hey guys, what is up? It is guys, the perfect dude. Once again, bringing you another live commentary on a Wi-Fi battle. Today, I'm battling death, death itself. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> I don't know why I had to say it that way, but okay. So um, I'm using the same team that I used in my last battle because this team is working pretty well. So I was like, yeah, why not get more battles like this? Um, like usual, I'm, I would like to take a picture of my opponent's team so I can remember what type of Pokemon or exactly what Pokemon uh, my opposition is using. So I can play accordingly. Most people think that's cheating, but I don't think that's cheating. I think that's just being tactical and smart. So yeah, it's the same as writing down the Pokemon that you just have seen, so it doesn't really matter that much. So apparently my opponent is going to be using the Steelix, the Dragonite, the Charizard, the... Venusaur, the Florges, and the Blastoise. He's using the three first starters being Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. Applause for that, dude. Seriously, very good choice of Pokemon. Very good. Now, I'd say his Steelix is what he's going to lead off with to set up the rocks. The Dragonite could possibly be the Weakness Dragonite. Uh, Charizard and Venusaur and Blastoise they could all three be the Megas and Florges being especially defensive walls. So, Let's go ahead and get started. I'd like to start off the battle by using Torterra. Just like I did in my last battle because Torterra is the guy to set up everything. And uh, that's what's up. So let's go ahead and see how this battle actually turns out. Because quite frankly, I am very curious to see what set he's going to be running on the Blastoise, the Venusaur and the Charizard. Um, I think that his Mega Evolution is absolutely going to be Charizard. Simply because of the fact that Mega Charizard is a little bit more useful than all the other ones. Specifically because Charizard himself is really not all that powerful and Venusaur can pretty much handle whatever. And uh, on its normal uh, form and Blastoise does the same thing. And um, now that I look, at, look better at his team, I think that Blastoise is going to be the Rapid Spinner. So yeah. So it's going to start off by using Mega Charizard. And, uh, or Mega Charizard is going to be starting off using Charizard. And obviously that's not a good matchup for me. So I don't know what type of Charizard this is going to be. So I am going to switch out into Manta and think that this is going to be Mega Charizard Y. I'm not sure if it's going to Mega Evolve or whatnot. But um, I'll definitely find out very soon. So it's going to go for the, yeah, absolutely. It's going to be the Mega Charizard Y, which is perfect. I have my specially defensive wall out. So I can pretty much punch whatever this guy's about to throw at me, which is perfect. Now immediately I know which is going to be his Mega and just like I anticipated it's going to be Charizard because obviously Charizard is the better Mega if you had to choose between the three. So he goes for the Flamethrower, even in the sun it doesn't do that much damage of course because Mantine is a monster. Um, okay so what to do, what to do, what to do, to do, to do. I am going to go for a Scald, yeah I'm going to go for the Scald. Simply because I want to get some super effective damage off and if he's gonna switch out then something else could get a poison Oh, I mean a burn which is perfect now it's gonna bring out the Venusaur and the Venusaur with Crawlafill is gonna be uh, Very fast. It's basically gonna outspeed whatever on my team and it's gonna I'm gonna get the burn which is very lucky on my part I'm just quickly going to grab a sip or get a sip from my uh, iced tea mm. I love iced tea. I love iced tea so the Venusaur is in here and I think that he's going to go for the Sleep Powder but there's a, there's a high chance that um, you know I, I really want to stay in and go for the Hidden Power Fire because it's actually in the sun and it will do a lot of damage that's what I think but I will not risk my mana time to put to sleep so I am going to switch out into Torterra uh, because even the Sludge Bomb is really not going to do that much damage uh, because I, it's actually neutral damage and if he goes for the Sleep Seed or Sleep Powder, it's really not going to affect the Terra because, of course, Sleep Powder does not affect Grass types, which is very good. And he's going to get a little bit of uh, burn damage right there. I'm going to set up the Stealth Rocks, obviously, because that's going to be necessary to take down the Mega Charizard Y. Uh, because the thing is really a problematic Pokemon. And uh, uh, he's going to traumatize me with that thing. Seriously, he's going to traumatize me. I'm going to set up the Stealth Rocks though, and he's going to switch out into the Charizard Y. He knows what he's doing, and I'm already loving this battle. He knows exactly how to play according to my moves. Um, obviously, I am going to go back to Mantine, even though it's actually very, very predictable. There is really nothing else that I can do to counter this uh, Charizard. 
because it's really going to do a lot of damage to my team. It's gonna go for the Solar Beam, absorb sunlight and attack on the very first turn, of course, because of the sun. That is going to do nothing. <laughs> Manta, you are a monster. Sir, you are so good. You are just too good. That, that's just way too good. Um, I am going to go for the Hidden Power Fire this time, because I'm pretty certain that he is going to switch back into the Phenazor. And even if it doesn't, it doesn't matter, because he could switch out into Dragonite. But um, I think that he's going to be fearing the Ice Beam, so I don't think he will do that. So he's going to bring out the Blast Toys. And I shouldn't have refilled my Hidden Power yet. So I feel bad for what I did just now. Damn it. Alright, so that sucks. Uh, that's, not really, that's really not going to do anything. It doesn't do any damage at all, really. Uh, he's gonna try to rapid spin things away, right? So I'm gonna go for the toxic then, if that's gonna do, if that's gonna be the case. So you know, toxic on uh, his uh, defensive Pokemon is absolutely a good thing. So try to rapid spin the toxic away. I don't think you will be able to do that. <laughs> okay, so his Blasto Blastoise is toxic. His Venusaur is burn. His Mega Charizard Y actually only has 50% health left because of Stealth Rocks. Oh no, wait, 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 he just rapid spin them away, never mind. Um, and uh, the Dragonite is just sitting tight up in there with a weakness policy. I don't know what to expect from this thing, if I'll be honest with you guys. I'm just gonna go for another Skull, really. Um, I think he's gonna switch out. Yeah, he's gonna switch out. Whatever comes in is gonna get a Skull to the face. And it's gonna be Florges. And I pray to God that I get burned because I know that he will go for the heal bell. Uh, he will definitely go for the heal bell. I'm pretty certain about that. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to go out into my hard hitter uh, and do as much damage as I possibly can, which is going to be my uh, Flame Orb God's ability, uh, Swellow. And I'm actually going to go for the U turn when I do that because um, he's definitely gonna switch out into the Steelix. I am so ahead of this battle in my mind, seriously. Alright, so I'm gonna switch out into Swellow, just like I said, I think he's gonna go for the Heal Bell. It would make sense because really there is two, three Pokemon on his team that are... Uh, oh no, Heal Bell, Aromatherapy. It's actually the same thing, it doesn't matter. He's gonna recover the status problems, uh, bring them back to normal, which is okay, I don't care. Um, Swellow is gonna be doing some heavy damage in a bit. He will definitely switch out into the Steelix because quite frankly Swellow cannot touch Steelix. And uh, that's what's up. So, gonna go for the U-turn. He's gonna go for the Protect. God damn it. Uh, he's gonna be racking up the uh, burn damage. Very smart move on his part. So, I'm guessing this floor just is a Wish Protect Pokemon with Aromatherapy. It's basically the support Pokemon on his team. Um, I'd say that's a very good Pokemon. Very good set. So, instead of going for the U-turn this time, I'm gonna go for the Facade. Because that's what's up. Uh, he might just stay and predict me to go for another U-turn. Uh, no, he doesn't. He's not going to take that risk, so he will go out into Steelix. Snake X, there goes. What's going on? That's a big guy. That's a big fella. Alright, so really, that's not going to do anything. And uh, I'm going to be burned. Oh, taking Rocky Helmet damage. So I am definitely not you turning away, because that will just deal extra damage to me. Um, yeah, what to do now? What to do, what to do, what to do. His team is very balanced, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, his team is freaking balanced. It's, it's a very well made um, well made team. Alright, I could go out into Primate. No. I will go back into Torterra. I personally don't have any Rapid Spinners. So I'll be damned right now, because he's gonna set up the Stealth Rocks. And that's not really going to be okay. Oh, he's gonna go for the Thunder Fang. Well, okay, perfect. All right, I'm gonna go for the Stealth Rocks then. One more time, let's go. Uh, he's gonna do the same thing, I think. No, wait, he's he's got access to Ice Fang. I'm pretty sure. No, he's gonna go for the Curse. Okay, so this is an offensive Steelix. Okay, that's 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 surprising. I don't see those uh, snakes uh, running around very often. Uh, I would like to go for the Earthquake, but I think the Lead Seed will help me out a little bit more than Earthquake. Let's go. I don't think he has access to Ice Fan, and if he does, then... Oh, shit, no! Oh, my God, no! No! Oh, and I live with 19 HP. 
Perfect! Well done, Torterra, you're a monster! <laughs> Even the four times super effective after a curse. Oh god, you are fantastic, Torterra. Thank you. Thank you so much. But I don't think you will be able to lift uh, too much uh, anymore, so... I am going to switch into... Hmm... Yeah, you know what the problem is? If I switch out into Montine, I can I can pretty much, you know, force him out. But if he goes for the Thunderfame predicting that switch, then I'll be damned. I'll be damned. I'll be in so much trouble. Uh, I'm thinking of going out into Slagging, but um, I'll have to lock myself into Earthquake then. And uh, he might just predict that and go out into... Shari said, why? So many mind games right now, so many. So many. Oh my god. I'm gonna go out into Prime Ape anyway. I think that Prime Ape can take whatever this guy's about to throw at me. Uh, only if it's one of those Fang attacks. If it's actually Earthquake or something like that, then I'm gonna die. Uh, but he's gonna switch. He's gonna switch, okay. Oh my god, he's gonna bring back the Blastoise. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna thunder punch this guy. I need to do as much damage as I possible. I need to get rid of this stupid rapid spinner um, as fast as I can. So I'm gonna go for the thunder punch right now. Life orb thunder punch, super effective. Let's go. It's almost gonna take down the Blastoise, and uh, he's gonna go for the skull. He's not gonna rapid spin the things away. Perfect. This is great. Don't burn me. Oh, great. This is amazing. And now I am going to use. Uh, I'm thinking, Gunk Shot, no, I'm gonna go for the Close Combat, that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for the Close Combat, he might switch out, yeah, he's gonna switch out into the Venazor, uh, but that's fine, I don't care, oh, Snake X, take that Close Combat to the face, take that Close Combat to the face, I hope you feel that, uh, destroy his body, Go down, Snake X is down, so this is the first Pokemon that actually goes down on his team. Man, it took so long. We are already um, 12 minutes into the battle, and this is the first Pokemon that I'm able to take down from his team. Finally, there is some momentum. Finally. So right now, I can bring out... Oh my god, now I can bring out Swellow. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring out Swellow, and I can, I can go for the facade now. I can go for the facade and do as much damage as I possibly can. Okay, so he's gonna bring out Florges again. And uh, obviously he's gonna go for that Protect, so I'm gonna switch out again. Screw this. I'm gonna switch out back into Slacking, or I don't think that I've sent out Slacking before, so... Alright, so he's gonna take his time, I'm gonna switch out into Slacking, absolutely, because I think he's gonna go for the Protect. And uh, it would be a very good move on his part if he does go for the Wish or something else. Oh, uh, he goes for the Protect, just like I anticipated, and right now, uh, she's gonna feel the power. She's gonna feel the power. I'm not sure if she's gonna go for another Protect. Uh, it, wow. Uh, this is gonna suck, though. Can you actually encore Protect? I don't know. Can you encore Protect? I don't know, guys. Can you encore Protect? I'm gonna go for the encore. Encore the Protect! Perfect! You cannot go for Aromatherapy, you cannot go for Wish, you will have to go for Protect. Screw you. Yeah, screw you. Yeah, screw you. Alright, so... <laughs> Florius is Encore, which is... You don't see Slacking running Encore. That's the, the moves that I'm using lately, they are so, so freaking good. Like, people don't expect them, that's the thing. It's so funny. It's just funny. I think I think it's hilarious. So he's gonna switch out, obviously, and uh, he's gonna bring out his uh, Dragonite, and uh, his Melt Esco is gonna be broken because of Stealth Frogs. And uh, the thing is, you know, Swellow is the answer to his entire team except Dragonite. I am not sure if Assad will kill from this range, and if it doesn't, and I die because of that, then I think that I might lose this game. But uh, I'm gonna try anyway. I'm just gonna go for the facade. He might go for the extreme speed because some Dragonites carry them. Uh, this one doesn't carry it, so I'm gonna go for the facade. It's not gonna take him down. He's gonna go for the Dragon Dance. And I have a little surprise for you. I have a little surprise for you because I am original and you are not, and you will die because of that. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Quick Attack. 
<laughs> I present to you quick attack. Let's go. Let's go. Sit down. Dragonite goes down to a critical hit. It doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter. He would have gone down anyway. So down goes the Dragonite, and uh, yep, quite frankly, he he's very, looking very bad right now. If I'll be honest with you guys. In comes the Charizard Y, it's gonna set up the Sun, because that's what he needs in order to win this game, because uh, in order to outspeed everything else on my team, he's gonna need that uh, Crawlerfield Finazor uh, to do some work. So I'm gonna go for the Facade here, um, because of course I can outspeed, and uh, I don't know what he's gonna bring out now, but um, it doesn't really matter. Down goes the Blastoise, down goes the Blastoise, and uh, this is gonna be actually very good. Okay, so down goes the Blastoise, and uh, he only has three left. Being the Venusaur, the Charizard, and... Oh, no, wait. Being the Venusaur, the Charizard, and the Florges. And Florges is absolutely going to come in because he's going to go for the Protect. Oh, no, he's going to go for the Venusaur. And, that, and that's okay, that's okay, because I'm actually going to go for um, a Quick Attack. Uh, I won't be able to outspeed this thing, that much I know. So I'm just gonna go for the quick attack and do as much damage as I can before I go down. He might go for the synthesis. Oh no, so he's actually gonna be able to take me down with the Giga Drain, which is fine. He's really not gonna recover that much uh, because I, I, quite frankly, I virtually I didn't have any HP left. Okay. So my mother, my mother just bought a car and she just interrupted my commentary. God damn it! All right, I'm very happy for her. Very happy. So, okay, so I have four Pokemons left. Um, he's got that Phenosaur, which is almost dying. The Blastoise died, and the Charizard Y is still alive. So, three Pokemon left, right? I need something with. Yeah, I need something. I, I need something. What do I need? Um, will Giga Drain kill me? That's a good question. Will Giga Drain kill Tort I think it will, because it's neutral damage. So what I am actually going to do is I am going I'm going to go out into Sharpedo here and I'm going to go for the protect because I need to outspeed this thing if I don't then I'll be lost. All right, so I'm going to go for the protect here and I'm going to be stalling out the sun uh and I'm going to be uh, getting that speed boost ability going on and that is going to be perfect. Um hopefully I'm faster this time because if I'm not faster then I'll lose this game. I'm gonna go for the crunch. Stab, crunch, life warp. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Crunch. Crunch. He ah! goes down. Perfect. This is going a court. This game is amazing, guys. I am loving this game. This game is so freaking cool. I only have 12 minutes left on my recording camera. That's the capacity left. So this game needs to end in 12 minutes from now. So he's gonna bring out Florges. And obviously he only has Florges and Blastoise. Oh no, Florges and Charizard left. So hmm. Dark is I don't know if Dark is actually resisted or, or by Fairy. I, I don't know. I'll have to find out real quick. I'm just gonna quickly search for Florges. Uh Florges, Florges, Florges. There goes Florges. Dark type. Yeah, Dark type is actually resisted by Fairy, which sucks. And, uh, oh god, uh, I want to go for an Earthquake, no, I'm gonna need my Sharpedo for later, I think, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna switch out into Torterra, I'm gonna switch out into Torterra because I'm gonna be needing Sharpedo to take down the Charizard Y after a Protect, because I'm gonna be able to outspeed it by then. Um, so he's gonna go for the Moonblast though, he's not going to go for anything else, well okay, well that's fine. He's gonna take me down, which is okay, I'm gonna bring out Slacky and I'm gonna go for the Giga Impact. Something has to die right now, something has to. He's gonna get a little bit of leftovers recovery and um, uh, in comes Slacky then. Let's go Slacky, you can do this, you can do this. Slacking is gonna come in though, and uh, I'm gonna go for the <clears throat> voice crack. I'm going to go for that Giga Impact. No, wait a second, he has the Protect, right? 
Oh, you garbage. You're garbage. No, no, I'm not, I'm not talking about any of you guys or my opposition. I'm talking about the ability of slacking. Uh, right. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go for the Giga Impact anyway. Alright, so he's gonna switch out into Charizard Y. I don't know why he did that. He should have gone for the Safe Protect. Alright, so Charizard is gonna die to the Stealth Rocks. He should have Rapid Spin things away when he could. But apparently, that didn't happen, so... Apparently, he just didn't want me to go for the Anchor and Anchor him into Moonblast. So, in comes Florges once again, and I am going to switch out into Mantine, because Mantine can sponge whatever this guy is about to throw at me. He has that Wish Protect combination with the Aromatherapy and the Moonblast. Moonblast will not do as much damage because it's a specially orientated attack, and uh, Mantine is specially defensive. And even after all that, it still does quite a bit of damage. I'm surprised. Uh, I'm going to go for the Toxic, I think, and um, that will pretty much seal the deal here, because after this floor just is Toxic, there is not much that he can do. Let's go, Toxic. He's gonna go for the Protect to get a little bit of leftover recovery. He is just not giving up, and I like these type of trainers. I am the same way. I never give up. I battle until the very end. I almost never run. So... Leftover recovery on both sides is gonna happen, and I'm going to go for that Toxic, and I'm gonna be racking up uh, a lot of damage every single turn, so that's great. He's gonna go for another Moonblast, though. I just hope it doesn't get a crit, because that would suck. Alright, there goes the Toxic. This floor just is annoying as crap, and it's basically going to go for Aromatherapy at some point. Uh, but it doesn't matter, because I'm just gonna continue to damage it as much as I possibly can. And at some point, I'm gonna bring a, I'm gonna bring a, I'm gonna bring in slacking, and gonna go for uh, that um, Giga Impact. Now the problem is he still has access to protect, so this floor just can make a comeback. It can. It it definitely can. <clears throat> can. Oh wow. Well, why why am I getting so much uh, voice cracks right now? Um, scold or a switch. Scold or a switch. Scold or a switch. Uh, scold or switch, scold or switch, scold or switch. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch into slacking because I think that he will go for the aromatherapy. And even if he goes for the moon blast, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I'll be able to sponge that anyway. Um, I have a lot of HP and I have a decent special defense, so that's what's gonna happen. Um, this thing is gonna get a little bit uh, of leftover recovery again, and the poison is gonna be racking up. At some point, he'll be forced to go for aromatherapy, and if he doesn't, if he doesn't do that, then he'll be in a world of trouble. Um, I am thinking whether or not I should go for the Giga Impact or Encore. Uh huh. I'm gonna go for the Anchor anyway, I need to Anchor this thing into something because allowing it to go for Protect and whatever not every single time is really not something that I want to have happening to me. So I'm gonna go for the Anchor, it protects itself, apparently Anchor does not go through Protect, which is a shame. And uh, he'll definitely be going for the Aromatherapy on the next turn, so that'll be something. And uh, yeah. I need to play smart here because Torpedo is gonna die to a single Moonblast. It's really going to die to a single Moonblast. Uh, right. I am going to switch into Mantine. I'm not gonna. I need to save switch into Torpedo because the thing is, if he predicts me right now to go out into Torpedo and if he goes for the Moonblast, then this game is definitely in his pocket. So he's gonna go for another Protect. I don't know why, but um, okay. Well, that's that, that's a good uh, that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> the toxic is still gonna rack up a lot of damage, which is perfect. And uh, the thing is, he will go for aromatherapy at some point. He will have to. And when he does, I'll be damned. Okay. Um, check moves. Alright, so Aromatherapy might happen. I'm gonna go out into Sharpedo now because I think he's gonna go for the Aromatherapy. If not, then shit. But, um, <laughs> really there is not much else that I can do. This floor just is a bitch, seriously. It's, 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 it's such a bitch. 
It's it's very annoying. And I don't know why he goes for the wish and not for the aromatherapy. Uh, it, it's not really making that much sense because the Toxic is really wrecking up right now. It's really doing a lot of damage and uh, I think that the game is sealed right now because had he gone for the aromatherapy I think he would have won this battle. Um, the thing is I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake here. He's gonna go for the Protect to get the wish and uh, that's gonna happen but then the Toxic is gonna bring him back to the same amount of HP that he's at right now and uh, I only have 4 minutes left. <laughs> Come on game! And before these 4 minutes because man I won't be able to record the final, the final moment of this battle. Toxic is gonna do a lot of damage, oh my god. That did so much damage. Speed boost is gonna activate, doesn't really matter because I'm gonna outspeed anyway. And uh, Earthquake is going to go and hopefully this takes down the Florges because otherwise it's gonna suck. Alright, so it takes down the Florges, that is going to be the victory for me. That was such an intense game, ladies and gentlemen. So much mind games, absolutely great game death, thank you very much for the battle. Guys, if you want to follow me on Twitter, that would be totally appreciated because there I upload or I pretty much uh, set all the updates for my channel. I ask for challenges all over all the time and uh, you guys can contact me through Twitter. I always respond ASAP, so that would be a good thing if you guys follow me on Twitter. The link will be down in the description. Other than that, guys, if you really enjoyed this battle, make sure to drop a like because it tremendously helps out the channel. It helps the videos, you know, spread throughout the YouTube community, and it is a good thing for all of us. So, anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and adios.